you are extraordinary when you and your passion become one. Hi, I'm Nordin Zwareg. You are probably going to hear in the background my little French bulldog King. So forgive me if you can actually hear him. Hello! <laughs> and you probably can see him too if he jumps. Anyway, passion. It doesn't always start being a passion. You hear it all the time, especially in inspirational talks, people saying, go out there and get your passion, get a passion, as if passion was something we we're able to go and buy at the grocery store in packs of 12. No, you can't buy passion. Passion starts with an activity first that develops into a skill that you then master and when you master that skill it becomes your passion see first you must try an activity that you like then as you continuing practicing this activity it becomes a skill you can master that skill, which develops into a passion. Take me, for example. Bodybuilding wasn't always my first choice. My first choice was gymnastics. Some of you have read my books. You know the story. When I started gymnastics, because I was inspired by a Russian Olympic athlete, that looked fantastic. I wanted to have that body, you see, that chiseled body. And to me, it made sense that if I was inspired by that image of the gymnast, I needed then to take on gymnastic, and I did. Within a few months, I almost, I did actually break my wrists, but I almost killed myself doing gymnastics. So my coach, my gymnastic coach, then redirected me into weightlifting. He said, you know, Nardine, you're too skinny. You're going to kill yourself if you continue with this. Why don't you go to the gym and put on some meat on you and we'll revisit then. All of you know the story already. I started lifting weight. It's not something that I necessarily liked. It's something that I needed to do in order not only to feel better about myself, but like my coach said, put some meat on me. As I continued, pra continued practicing weightlifting or bodybuilding, I developed a liking. And the more I did it, the more I wanted. And the more I... I looked healthier, more sculpted, more muscular, the more I was creating this connection with myself. Then that activity of working out became a skill. Then it is when I started competing and when I felt how it felt to do something that led me to a bigger thing that it developed into a passion. You see? And then that passion became me. It is what helped me to be here and to be able to help you with your health and fitness and wellness. But see what I'm saying? It could have been something else. It could have been photography. It could have been acting, you know, and how would that um, have panned out for me 
if I did acting, I think using the same discipline, it would have taken me to the top level as well. See, if I took on acting, you know, and uh, took some classes then and um, took a liking, developed it into a skill and then to a passion, who knows, right? But the principle is the same. In order to become extraordinary, you need to have your passion and you become one. In other words, you marry that passion. And that, my friends, allow you to be extraordinary. So, what are you waiting for? Name all the activities that you may take a liking in practicing. And then try them. It's just like trying on clothes. You try them on to try them on to see if they fit. If they fit, you wear them, right? Same with an activity. If if it fits you, if you like it, then you can develop into a develop it into a skill, master the skill, and be become passionate about it, and then it becomes you. I hope this video will help you. Get passionate about something. Please like, if you do like, and subscribe. Visit my website at www.nordinezwareg.com. Nordinezwareg.com. Till next time, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you.